Hey guys, hey it's Mr. Lindy here, and um, I'm not gonna be here today, so I wanted to get a good video out of what you're gonna do today. And some of you may have done this in other classes, and some of you may not. But what we're gonna work on is a coordinate plane, or it's called the coordinate grid, or the coordinate graphs, or even just coordinates. And when I go to the next page, you'll see it and you'll say, oh, it looks like some kind of graph or something like that. And that's what we're going to, uh, I'm just going to go over the basics with you today, okay? So if you look at it right now, you can see it. It's just a main graph. You look like one goes up, one goes down. This is called the first coordinate. And it's only the top right. There are four quadrants. The first quadrant only deals with positive numbers. So as a number... Everything that I number, number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, they're all positive going this way, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that's what you're responsible. Fifth grade, you're only responsible for this first quadrant, this first quadrant, and once again, it's only positive numbers. As you get older, you'll see that there's a second quadrant that introduces some negative numbers. The third quadrant has all negative numbers, and the, and the fourth quadrant has uh, one set of negative numbers. So, like I said, this one is kind of fun. It's uh, You're only dealing with positive numbers. Okay, let's take a look and see what the basics are. And here we are. Here are the basics. So what I did was, the two things that I'm going to start off with are the X and the Y. And if you look at the grid, the whole graph thing, uh, the piece that goes up and down, up and down and left and right. If you look over here, I'm going to circle this X. What this is, is this is called the X-intercept. And what it is, is it's basically a number line that runs left and right. That's what it's in control of. The X is only left and right. In our instance, in fifth grade, it's only right. You will only move right to find a coordinate on this grid, okay? So it only goes this way. All right, and then now I'm going to go over to the Y, and that is the Y intercept. And that is the numbers that go up and down. But on this one, we will only go up. So these would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And how they give you the coordinates are they give you the X first and you will go and find the X so you'll go right as many times as this one right here tells you and then you do the Y next and you will go up as many times as they tell you but like um, I've been told you know how you start you have to start it in the beginning somewhere that's what this is called it's called the origin and the origin starts at zero zero you notice I'm going right zero, and I'm going up zero. It is this point right directly here. That's where you will start everything. So when in the next page, when I flip over, you'll see that we have some coordinates in the top right, and I will show you how you start and how you think about answering these. Okay? But those are the basics. You'll be responsible for this. You have to know where the X is. You have to know where the Y is. You have to know that the X goes right, and the, and the Y goes up. You have to know in coordinates right here, this is actually called a coordinate. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's check out some coordinates and see what happens. Let's look at this one right here. What's this say? That means that we have an X right here and we have a Y right here. It means the X we have to go over two. So starting at the origin, zero, zero, we go over two. One, two. And then... You go over to the Y and it says you have to go up four. So one, two, three, and then four is right here. So like I always tell students, when you go to a hotel and you go to get your room and say you're on the fourth floor, you can't just walk straight to the room on the fourth floor. You have to go over to the elevator and then you go up the elevator. Okay, so you have to go to the elevator first, and then you go up. So make sure you go, the first number that you see, you need to go over right that many. 
Looks like the first one was over two and up four. Okay, so let's look at this one. It's three, five. Coordinates are three, five. So basically you go, switch colors for you. You go over three, one, two, three, and then up five. One, two, three, four, five. And you put your dot in right there, and there it is. That is coordinate three, five. Do not make the mistake of going up three and over five. It is not that you cannot start at the top floor and then make your way over. You have to go to the elevator before you get to the top floor, okay? So let's look at this last one over here. It says six, one, and then I'll get into a couple of the tricks. Okay, on this one, six, one. You go over six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you go up one, there it is right here. This is six, one. That's your coordinate, six, one. Remember, that's the X. You go over. This is the Y. You go up. So those aren't that bad. They're not too uh, hard to understand. You're going to get some, uh, some work on this, and you'll have to duplicate basically what I just did there. Now the next ones are a little bit confusing because you're like, oh, hold on a minute, what if I throw some zeros in there and what's that mean? All it means is you move that way zero. So if we're starting at the origin, that's zero, zero, and the X tells me that I go right zero, well, obviously I stay at the origin because I didn't go over any, and then it tells you that you need to go up four. So then you go one, two, three, four, and the coordinate is right on the line. That is coordinate zero, four, because I didn't have to go over any, but it is right on the Y. Okay, there you go. The next one is four, zero. Remember, X comes first, Y comes second. Okay, so this one, you're going to go over four, and then it says you got to go up zero. Well, I'm right there. It's right on the X. This is 4, 0. Don't get those confused. Remember, X goes first, so you go over 4, and then the Y goes second, and the Y tells you how many to go up. Well, there's none to go up. stays right on the line. There's 4, 0. All right, last one, 9, 0. So, I've, so basically all it's going to say is we start at the origin. We're going to go over 9. So I'm all the way over here, and then I'm going to go up 0. It's right here. Hopefully you guys got that one right there. That's how it goes. If I put, you're going to have a picture that you're going to have to draw in one of the worksheets that you're going to do. And say it has 2-2, two, two, and then it has 3-1, and then it has 4-3. Say those were consecutive numbers that it had in a row. And it says, all right, for this one, you have to do this. So the first thing you want to do, and I'm going to do it in black here, is that you got to go find 2, 2. So you go over 2, up 2, boom, there's the first one. So that number's done. I just put a little line on it. And then you go to 3, 1. So you go over 3, up 1, there it is. I want you to connect those. That'll be the one which you're going to have to draw a picture. Okay? And then you finally have to go to 4, 3, over 4, up 3, and I need you to connect it from the last one. So you see that you'll be connecting them as you go. And on that worksheet, you will have a nice little picture when you're finished. Um, they're kind of fun. They get a little, uh, you know, it, it's a little bit fun to just do something that uh, you don't have to think about a lot. You kind of just have to remember that X is first, Y is second. So you go right first, then you go up second. Okay? I hope this helps you guys. And, uh... I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye, guys.